right, the mental game of baseball. In this video, you're going to learn how to hit more effectively by mental preparation during action counts during your at-bat. Um, again, there's a lot out there about physical aspects of hitting, but what about the mental aspects of hitting? Baseball is a mental game, and you can get a mental advance by being prepared the right way. What is an action count? 0-0, zero, zero, one, one, two, two, the even counts, and 3-2, these are counts where the pitcher wants to, needs to throw a strike. You're going to get a pitch that uh, you can hit um, if the pitcher has enough control to master the strike zone. So you have to be prepared to hit during an action count. Uh, the first action count is 0-0, zero, zero, beginning of your bat. Um, most pitchers will throw lots of fastballs, or, so you need to be prepared to hit the fastball early in an action count, unless the pitcher is just terrified of you. If you're a guy that's just dominating your level of play, you might get a curveball or a changeup. Um, but most uh, are it's a situation where there's lots of people on base or something like that, a pressure situation. But most pitchers are going to throw fastballs early in the count. And generally, good pitchers are going to throw fastballs low and away early in the count. So you need to be prepared to hit that pitch. Um, but you have to make sure that's your pitch. If you can't handle that pitch very well, the situation doesn't dictate you handling that pitch very well, then it might be okay to take that pitch. It's okay to take a borderline pitch. You don't want to hit the pitcher's pitch to start the bat. You want to hit your pitch. Um, so think about that. You know, if it's perfectly on the outside corner and at the knees, probably not a good pitch to hit. Unless you're trying to advance a runner and you're a right hand hitter, you're trying to advance a, a runner or you're hitting runs on or something like that. But um, you can always go 0 1. It's not a huge disadvantage. And uh, also, may, maybe the umpire will call it a ball, and you go one zero, and you'll be way ahead. So, uh, o o is a is a count where you got to be prepared to hit the fastball. You got to be prepared to hit a pitcher's mistake on a fastball or a fastball you can handle in a location you like, but you don't want to hit the pitcher's pitch at zero zero. Um, showing a drag bunt is really good early on. Uh, only drag bunt if it is a, a strike. Um, take it if it's borderline. Um, by showing a drag bunt, you can move the infield in, which creates many more hitting zones for you to hit. Um, going forward in the game, um, particularly early in the game, it's good to throw a drag bunt because the infield is going to come in every single time. We'll talk more about that later. Um, early in a series, if you're playing a series. Um, but, the, you know, the key at 0-0 zero, zero is not expanding the zone. You have to understand your pitcher. Is the pitcher dominant? Do you not want to fall behind this pitcher? Does this pitcher have dominant stuff that you can't handle? Or is the pitcher just an average pitcher? It's going to be a competitive bat. Um, or is it a pitcher that you know you can dominate? If it's a pitcher that you can dominate, you don't want to swing at anything that's a pitcher's pitch early in the at, at bat. You're going to wait for your pitch because you know you can hit anything he throws at you. Um, and you can, with two strikes, hit the same pitch and put it in play hard regardless. But if the pitcher's dominant, you may not want to fall behind, um, especially if the, the pitcher has a dominant out pitch. Maybe the pitcher throws a, a hard slider or has a curveball or changeup that's pretty dominant. Maybe you need to hit that fastball early on. So it's about knowing the situation. Um, at different levels of baseball, it's a different thing. Um, obviously, the higher you go up, uh, the more the pitcher's going to have secondary out pitches that are going to be tough to handle. So um, you might want to hit the fastball early in the count. You have to know yourself. How are you swinging the bat? Are you feeling confident? Are you are you seeing the ball well? Um, obviously, um, the better you're seeing the ball, the more confident, more balanced you are at the plate. Um, then you know that you can um, go deeper in the count. You don't want to expand the zone or hit the pitcher's pitch early. If you're if you're just in a real struggle and you're trying to put the ball in play, you might be trying to put the ball in play early in the count, but you also may be looking for a walk. You know, one of the great things that you can do, particularly if it's a dominant pitcher, you may not want to swing so early. We want to make the pitcher throw pitches. Um, if it's a dominant pitcher, so you can get them out of the game and get into the bullpen. Um, so extending the at-bat, especially early in the game, is a, is a key thing that you can do for your team and for yourself later on. So you have to know your job. There's so many things, you know, are you trying to advance a runner? Are there people on base? Are you trying to score a runner? And, you know, if there's a runner on third with less than two outs, you're looking for a pitch that you can uh, either hit to the middle of the field, if the infield's not in, or a pitch that you can elevate into the outfield um, or drive that way. Um, and you need to be aggressive on those pitches to score the run for your team. If you're way behind, you may need to take pitches. If the pitcher is wild, you may need to take a strike. Um, so you have to consider all these things. I think a lot of people really don't, but you have to have a plan in mind. And then once you have your plan formed, then you get in there and see the ball and hit the ball. And, you know, you formulate your plan on the on-deck circle. You formulate your plan in the dugout as you watch what's going on. You watch the pitcher and study. It's about focusing throughout the game and focusing throughout the bat. I think a lot of people don't understand that. Um, and, and being prepared to hit with a game plan each and every time by knowing all these different factors. And then you see the ball and hit the ball and execute your game plan. Uh, one to one is like zero zero, but it's more aggressive because you're either going to go to two strikes 
Um, if you take another strike and you don't want to go there, most likely, unless you're just have a, you're just able to dominate the pitcher, not scared of anything the pitcher throws. Um, but at a one-one against an, a pitcher that's a good matchup for you, or you need to be more, a little bit more aggressive. If it's a strike, you probably ought to consider swinging at it, um, unless it's again a pitcher that you can dominate. You don't want to take the perfect pitcher's pitch there. You're still waiting for mistakes, but you need to be a little bit more aggressive. The drag bunt is still in play. You can still do that to move the infield in or take advantage of a, a sleeping infield to get a, an easy base hit, um, particularly if there's no one in scoring position. Um, but again, you need to know the situation. You need to have an understanding what the umpire strike zone is. Is the umpire inconsistent? Is the umpire um, got a big strike zone or a small strike zone? Um, again, at 1-1, you can see a variety of pitcher, pitches. All pitches are in play for the pitcher, so you have to be prepared for everything and really see the ball. But again, uh, most pitchers are going to throw mainly fastball, so be, be prepared to hit the fastball. Um, the pitcher will try to hit a corner, definitely 1-1. On the inside corner and outside corner is at play here. Um, again, most good pitchers live on the outside corner, though, so you have to be prepared uh, to hit the outside pitch. Um, are you scared to go to two strikes is a good, a good question. You know, If the pitcher is not a dominant pitcher, don't hit the pitcher's pitch. You can take another strike, and you can hit with two strikes. You're feeling good, and you can, and you can really hit the pitcher. But if it's a pitcher that you're scared to go to two strikes on, or you think that's going to be challenging, or the umpire's inconsistent, um, then you got to be much more aggressive at 1-1 and put the ball in play and give yourself a chance to get a hit. 2-2, uh, there's a lot of pressure on the hitter here because it's a two-strike count. Um, you need to be prepared for any pitch. A lot of uh, a really good pitcher, if they respect you, might start a pitch right on the edge of the strike zone and go just beyond for a ball and try to get you the chase. Um, if the pitcher doesn't expect, doesn't um, respect you or is questioning their own control, they're going to throw a strike here. Um, again, it's another fastball count, but you can see the change up the curveball or the, or the um, slider as well. But again, at 2 2, unless the pitcher is really scared of you or it's a, it's a runner in scoring position time, um, you're going to see fastballs on the corner. You got to be ready to hit it. Um, do you have a two strike swing developed? Would be a good question. Um, do you have a shortened swing ready to put the ball in play? Um, most hitters, unless you're just an overwhelming power hitter, should be shortening up their swing, choking up. Um, and putting a short, compact swing on the ball with two strikes. And, and, and I've be, spoken about this previously. You need to practice that. You need to do two strikes, two strike swings. Um, if it's a striker on the corner, just beyond, you have to swing. You have to know what the umpire is going to call. You got to defend yourself, foul off the tough pitches, get to another pitch. Your goal here is to put the ball and play hard or extend the at bat. Um, if you can get the 3 2, the odds go way back into the hitter's fail in favor. So you, the idea is fight off to you can get the 3-2 or the pitcher makes a mistake over the plate and something you can hit hard. 3-2, the pressure is on the pitcher. Pitch, no pitcher wants to walk people. Um, you're looking for the fastball. You're probably going to get a fastball. Not many pitchers, particularly at the lower levels, have the guts to throw something other than a fastball in 3-2. Um, if you're down in the lineup, you're obviously going to see a fastball. Uh, if you're in the middle of the lineup and the pitcher fears you, you could see a change up, curveball or slider. Um, but only if the pitcher has great control um, and people are in scoring position. But, you know, playing off the fastball here, uh, you got to defend the, the corners and maybe an inch or two beyond, foul those pitches off, keep extending the bat. You've already seen at least five pitches here. Can you see eight, nine, ten, and really wear the pitcher out? That would be a great at bat. Um, and every new pitch you see is another chance for the pitcher to make a mistake and throw something over the heart of the plate that you can attack and drive. Um, again, you're using your two-strike swing, I think, unless you're just an overwhelming power hitter, someone who can hit a home run every 20 at-bats or less. Um, and with a two-strike swing, it's short and compact, but if you square the ball up, you're going to hit the ball with the gaps, and you, people can even hit the ball out of the ballpark with a two-strike swing. But um, again, you're fouling off, you're short to the ball, you're balanced, you're, you're playing off the middle of the field, so you're not ahead, you're not really going out in front trying to hook pitches down the line or, or, or really pull the ball unless it's inside. Hit the ball where it's pitched, use the whole field with 3-2. Um, foul off the tough pitches and, and be ready to battle, battle, battle. The more pitches you can see, the closer it will be for a mistake. Um, you know, we need to practice these things, these different counts. You know, you do your fundamental practice, your swing fundamentals, your strength chain practice. Then you need to do your two strike swing fundamentals. And then you need to use live situations, uh, either with a coach or even a live pitcher. Uh, practicing. The more at bats you can get, the more reps you can get, the better hitter you're going to be. And that's the basics of. Uh, Action count hitting, um, you know, it's about preparation. It's about being mentally and physically prepared. You can visualize these situations. Um, you can get at bat um, in practice or in as many games as possible. You can get um, practice in the cage. Um, but you need to have a game plan so you can react and see and hit um, going forward in these action count situations.